Okay, I'm in MailChimp, which is MailChimp.com, with a fresh account, so there's nothing in here. And they've got a really nice, clean dashboard. It used to be a little bit more complicated, but it's really clear and clean now. So what we need to do is create a campaign, and then we're going to create a list. And we'll create a web form to put on our website. That sounds horribly complicated, I know, but I hope as you watch it, you'll realise it's not actually as bad as, as it sounds. So I'm going to create a campaign and we'll just click regular campaign. There are lots of different variations as you can see, but you don't have to worry about those if you just go to the, the straightforward one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a, an opt-in form on my website that gives away something for free. So this will be my email that goes to people to say here's your download link and thanks for joining um, in fact I won't call it thanks for joining call it link to free book okay so I'm not going to worry about any of the other things yet I'm just going to go to next now if I go to my WordPress site I can search for the MailChimp WordPress plugin and search for MailChimp List Subscribe. Now this one doesn't actually get high ratings but it is the one that MailChimp themselves recommend. So all we have to do is click install now and OK. and then activate the plugin. So then if you go to settings, you'll be able to make sure it connects properly. And we're going to connect to MailChimp. So then if you add your username and password, it will log you in. Great. So then we can tell it which list we want. We've only got one, so that's easy. Okay, so if we then go to Appearance and Widgets, we can put that form onto our website. And there it is, the MailChimp widget. I'll just push it on the top because it'll be easier to spot. And click Save, and then go to the website. And there it is, it's put just a very simple and plain sign up for free book and the email address. So actually that's not enough information. We would need to add some more. We could add an image link if we want to. We could make it look really fancy. But that is the basic information that we need to add. You could change that to sign up for newsletter or sign up for tips and tricks or whatever. But it's actually much easier than you think when you're using WordPress and MailChimp together.